Well, Tanya and Terrell, this morning, dozens of students rallied outside of CPS headquarters behind me. They want to see police out of schools. CPS students from Cops Out CPS gathered to call on the Board of Education to remove police from schools and reinvest more than $10 million spent on police in school programs and resources. Many students say the student resource officers are costly, ineffective, and that the officers make them feel unsafe. It's so important for me to speak up because if, I, if I'm not able to speak up for my youth, they're not going to have the power to speak up. So somebody needs to set that example. So I'm going to set the example for my youth to be able to speak up. We really need those funds so that Hyde Park can be a better place. Other schools can be a better place. My school does not have nursing programs. I don't want to have to go outside of high school to find resources just to build my goals and to reach my goals. The Chicago Board of Education is meeting right now to consider dropping the student resource officer program by 2025. Right now, 39 high schools have police on campus. Meanwhile, not all school communities want to see student resource officers go. Michelle Clark Magnet School in the Austin neighborhood is one of the local school councils that voted to keep its SRO because some think it helps repair distrust between black and brown communities and the police. Now, back here live, the Board of Ed plans to take public comment before voting on its safety plan. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.